Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com. And in this how-to, we're going to use Paint.net to crop an image. I'm going to grab an image that's full size and open it in my Paint.net. I don't want to use this whole image. I just want mostly this flower. So we're going to crop the rest of it out. One way you can crop is to go over to your tools and grab your Eclipse. Click on it. This is going to make a circle, oval, whatever you think you might want. You can simply put it there. If you don't like it, click off and try again till you get the image you want. Once you get it like you want, go up to Image, Crop to Selection. It may take a second if your image is huge. Now you have a perfect, well, near perfect circle, depending on how well you did it. And you have a transparent background. If you're going to have a transparent background, you'll want to save this image in PNG. Now, if you don't want a circle, let's go back to the image, the original image. And I want, say, a square or a rectangle. You go up to your tools, get a rectangle, and you can freehand it now. And you can crop it out like that. Don't like it. Click off. Try again. Now, you're going to have to eyeball the actual shape. Right now, if you look on the bottom, you'll see your size. I have a 1,276 by 1,255. It's not exactly a square, but if it's what you want, image, crop to selection. And there you go. Don't worry about the size right now. We'll take care of that in a little bit. Now, if you want a perfect square, I happen to like squares. So we're going to use the rectangle select again. And up here where you're going to see normal, we're going to click on the little arrow and we're going to go to fixed size. Here you're going to be able to pick your width and your height. You can choose inches, pixels, or centimeters. I use pixels. I'm going to take a wild guess here and put in my numbers for my square at 1300. I'm going to put a height and a width the same so I get my square. Now I'm going to click. And there we go. And there's my square. I don't have it lined up just right. So I click and hold my mouse key down. And there is my square. Now, if you've decided that it's not the size you want, just go up, change it. We'll make it a 1700. Click off, and there you go. You can choose any size you want until you get it just right. Now, once you've done this, you're going to go Image, Crop to Selection, and there is my perfect square with my flower. Now, I sure don't want a 1300 by 1300 image. So I'm going to go up to image again and resize. Now I can put the image at the size I want. Maybe I want a 400 by 400. Since I want to keep my square perfect, I'm going to make sure it's checked that says maintain aspect ratio. Once I put in my number, then I click OK. There is my perfect squared cropped flower. So it's easy to do. Once you have this, you can put a border, you can put your watermarks, whatever you want. Then go up to File, Save As, rename your image, pick your favorite file format, and click Save. It would be Ask OK, and there you go. So that's how you crop an image in Paint.net. We hope this helped, and be sure to check out our other Paint.net tutorials in our playlist. Thanks.